everyone. So today we have Esther. And Esther has been with me for probably about a year. And um, she has a very kind energy. However, the energy is very strong. So she sits up across from my bed and she sits on the bottom shelf. I have a bunch of shelves and I have all of my spirited vessels in my room and she sits on the bottom shelf and she has a very kind, almost motherly nurturing type energy. So I am hoping to be able to talk with her today and to um, get to know her a little bit better. I do have my laser grid on, so if you see like the little green dots in the back, I know it's a little hard to see. I'm not quite sure why it doesn't show up well on the camera. Um, we'll see how long that lasts for because a lot of times when I keep the laser grid on like that, um, the batteries usually get zapped pretty quickly. So. With that being said, we will get started. So hi Esther, I am Nicole, and we have a bunch of tools all around that can help you communicate with me. And none of these tools will hurt you. Um, none of them will cause you harm. You can interact with them. They are just here, so I know that you're here, and so you can communicate with me. So the white disc next to your head that is a motion sensor. So if you go next to it, you touch it, anything like that, it will light up. You have two blinky balls, one on each side of you, and if you touch them, um, move them, they will blink. This flashlight here, um, you can twist the top and it will turn on and off depending on which way you twist it. And then this is an EMF detector. So if you stand next to it, it will light up the lights that are on it. I have the EVP recorder up here. And if you talk into it, matter of fact, I think I'm gonna move it. So I may set off this motion sensor, but I just want to move this over here closer to where it'll be easier for you to speak into. So if you speak into that red light, when I listen back, I will be able to hear your responses. And then I have the spirit box here, which I will use a little bit later, and you'll be able to speak through that too. So when I ask you questions, you can interact with the other tools, but if you speak your answers directly into the EVP recorder, which is that right there, when I listen back, I will be able to hear your answers. I didn't write any questions. Usually I write questions down to ask, like to prepare myself so that way I'm not, you know, blabbering on and, you know, but I didn't, I'm not prepared today. so. We will see how this goes. <laughs> so I'm just gonna kind of wing it with questions. It's probably not the best idea, but and I'm usually more prepared than this, but today I'm not. So you will have to forgive me, Esther. I may be all over the place. <laughs> so Esther, can you tell me what your actual name is? Where are you from? Are you a child? Are you an adult? Oh, 
Oh, are you? Thank you. Now, if you could just shut that off for me. You just turn it in the opposite direction. I know it's a little hard. But if you can try, I know it takes a lot of energy. But if you can turn it in the opposite direction, it will shut it off. And then if that's how you like to answer questions, then we can always, always use that. And if you can't shut it off, that's okay too. If it's a little too hard, that's okay. We'll just leave it like that for now. And then if you wanna try to shut it off, you can. Are you a man? I just felt something touch my arm. Was that you, Esther? Did you touch my arm? It's okay if you touched me. I don't mind. I felt like a very gentle touch on my arm, like barely, barely touch, just a, a, like a little feeling on, on top of my arm. Are you a woman? Tell you what, I am going to take this and I am going to, whoa, I, as I blind myself, and we're going to try to reset it. Here we go. I don't, I think I blinded myself. <laughs> Now, what year did you pass away? Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you interacting with these tools. It lets me know that you're here and that you're talking to me and that's wonderful. When you crossed over, what was the first thing you saw? I don't know if you guys can see on the camera, but this whole table is moving. Are you moving this table, Esther? Of course, my cat is using the litter box right now, so if you hear that sound, I think that she waits for when the camera is on so she can perform for the camera. So, okay, I am actually, I don't have my phone and I don't wanna get up because I don't wanna set off the motion sensor. This whole table is moving and I'm not quite sure because it is so dark, I'm not quite sure if it's gonna show up on the camera. Are you moving this table?
can you use one of the tools to show me if you are moving this table? Oh, this cat. <laughs> do is we'll move on to the next question. When you crossed over, did someone meet you? If someone met you when you crossed over, who was it? Wow, this table is like, okay, I'm going to take this flashlight. And I don't know if it's actually going to show up. This whole table is moving and it hasn't stopped moving. if you guys are going to be able to see it. I'm almost tempted to get up and just take a video with my phone. You know, I think I might do that. And I'm going to set off the motion sensor if I do. But that's okay because I really want to document this, this table moving the way that it is. So I'm just trying to reset this flashlight. Nope, that's not reset. Let me just grab my phone. I knew I was going to set that off. Okay. Because I really want to get this on video. Let me actually take this flashlight again. put my pen down so I can hold this properly.
you move the table again? Yeah, this table is definitely moving. Okay, well, I got that on camera, well, on video. So what I'm going to do is I will post that in the Facebook group. That way you guys can see that for yourself. And I'm just resetting this flashlight. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's amazing. I really appreciate you interacting with me like this. <clears throat> is there anything that you would like to tell me about your life How old were you when you passed away? any unfinished business here? If you do, what is it that you feel like you need to finish? Do you need my help? If you do need my help, what do you need my help with? I'm taking another video because this table is really, really rocking. And I do need the flashlight because it is a little dark in here. Can you move this table for me again?
Can you get it moving like you did before? I know you had it like really going. It was really moving. take a couple of pictures. This table is really moving. All right, let me take a couple of pictures. You can manifest as whatever you'd like. If you want to manifest behind the table, on the, on the bed, wherever you want. And I'm just going to take a couple pictures. I'm just taking a bunch of pictures so I can look at them after. Okay, so now we're going to use the spirit box. And I'm pretty much going to ask you the same questions as I did before. You can talk through the spirit box. The spirit box is very loud. It sweeps through stations to create white noise. It moves through quickly. Um, it creates white noise, and it, so it's very loud because it's very staticky. But you can speak through it, which is really beneficial. Um, I sometimes can't hear the answers in real time. But when I listen back, I will be able to hear it. So let me get this started.
are you a woman? Like 
crazy. And it wasn't moving when I first started. Are you moving this table? know that you know usually about the 30 minute mark I wrap it up spirit tends to get tired and I totally understand that however this table is still moving like it's moving at a pretty good pretty good rate here um, I'm still going to wrap it up because I don't want to push the spirit to get exhausted usually 30 35 minute mark is where I cut it off um, so thank you so much Esther I hope that I get your name when I listen back so that way I can start addressing you by your actual name and you know get to know you a little bit more and you know I will say to those who are watching that I fully plan like once I do like the initial interview with all of my spirited vessels I plan to come back and talk with spirit more, the ones I've already talked to. Because whatever answers that I get, whatever information they give me, I can then build on that and get more information and really get to know about their life and you know the life that they lived and and you know really get to know them. Because, you know, I think that there are some spirits here you know, for instance, we take Jack for an example. I did Jack's paranormal interview yesterday. He didn't want to give me his actual name. But I will tell you that I know that he's a child. He's a young boy. And I know that he's either lost or, you know, he's confused. I think that it's quite possible he passed in a traumatic way. Maybe he wasn't aware that he had passed away. This is why I do this to, for number number one reason is to show people that, you know, spirits deserve respect and kindness. And just because they have passed on doesn't mean that they that they deserve any less respect or kindness or love. And if you have the the ability and, you know, the gift to be able to interact with spirit to not take that for granted and to really enjoy the experience and number two the fact that a lot of spirits if they you know spirits wander not all spirits are attached to anything spirits can come and go in in a general sense you know but if you do have a spirited vessel whether that be a doll whether that be a coin whether whatever that is a jewelry box doesn't matter what it is you know, but if it so happens to be attached to a doll, dolls are not scary. Some can be if they're, you know, if there's, you know, something about the doll that doesn't sit right with you. If they, I've had a doll before that had something really nasty attached to it, and I got rid of it as soon as I possibly could. There are some pretty nasty things that can reside within, you know, items if they are spirited. But dolls in the general sense are not creepy. And I want to show people that they're not creepy. And I want to show people that spirits, you know, human spirits, 
they are just as human-like when they pass as they were when they were alive. They still feel emotion. They still, you know, want to be seen and heard and recognized and respected and loved. And so that's my, my goal, is to show that, you know, that they, they exist and they can interact with us with the use of tools and the use of doing things and, and, and getting our attention and things like that. You know, but also I want to really get to know the spirits that I have here in my home on a personal level because they are my family. You know, they can leave whenever they want if they choose. But if they don't want to leave, I want them to feel comfortable here. And I want them to feel like they are a part of the family. And I want to get to know them as if they are a part of my family. And so that's the goal here. And so on that note, I am going to end this video. So thank you for joining me on this paranormal interview with Esther. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.